Jason? Hi, I'm great, Javier. Thank you for having us here with uh, this uh, Thermal Motor Club and a uh, great opportunity to try, finally try the new <laughs> 2016 Acura NSX. And you are like one of the experts one in, the, in the development team that, that work on this car, right? Yes, I've been involved with the car for a number of years now. So uh, it's it's been a great experience and we're we're just super excited to show you the show you the fruits of our uh, labors, I Therefore, guess. From yeah, the years. exactly. So, um, <laughs> can you tell us about basic things first about, about the car? Well, um, one of the things I was going to show you here is uh, kind of the heart and soul of the car is operated through the dynamic mode switch, uh, okay. our IDS, Integrated Dynamic System. And uh, one of the things I was going to show you is as you turn to the left, uh, you go to milder modes. For example, we're in quiet mode. If okay. I turn to the right, you're going to notice that it goes to sport mode. Turn to the right again, sport plus. And then finally, if I hold it to the right, yeah, we'll get a track mode. Okay, and that's so where that's we're going to start extreme, out. With the you. most performance. Uh... This is going to give you the best balance of uh, consistency of all the control systems to allow you to have consistent fast laps all the time. Yeah. Uh, this is what we're going to start out in. The other thing I was going to show you that's related to the track is the transmission. Um, obviously, we have paddle shifters. I'm going to ask you to start out in uh, automatic mode. I don't think you're going to need the paddle shifters. We're going to put it into okay. auto. Uh, you'll see the D pop up on there. Yeah. If you want to go to full manual, it's available. Uh, total control of all gears. By pressing this again, you'll see just a number pops up and okay. that allows you to be in full manual. I'm going to switch you back to auto. Auto. So that's like the most precise, the, mo the fastest way of, of shifting. And so the car is I think this you're is going to be like faster and better than any driver that can be out there. I, th I believe the computer can uh, the consistently beat the dr most drivers uh, yeah. on its own. So we'll start out here while you're learning the track, and uh, you know you can explore the other modes uh, as you get the more familiar with the car and the okay. track. And then, like the other thing, I mean, obviously the performance and the technology in the car is uh, one of the main main. Well, let's talk about that for like the powertrain uh, V6. Uh, it's a twin turbo V6 with three electric uh, motors assisting you. Uh, two of those motors are on the front axles, right and left tire. And then there's a third motor, uh, we say a pancake motor, it's sandwiched between the engine and the transmission, uh, providing additional uh, torque fill in the back of the car. So what's the total output? The uh, total output's 573 horsepower. Yeah. And top speed? Uh, just under 200 miles an hour. I don't think we're going to experience that today, but uh, yeah. that we know we can we can get to that. Well, stay stay towards the middle of the track here. It's a yeah. very late apex. Uh, coming down, holding it to the left, uh, back across to the apex cone here, and then a left onto the front straightaway. This is the most dangerous corner. You'll notice there's not much runoff there when you're at full speed. Wow, what a great sound too. Thank you. So down the front straight, uh, we're going to recommend you break around the five marker when we get up to pace here. Okay. Uh, this first corner is a really classic uh, 90 degree, I'm sorry, 180 degree uh, left, late apex. Stay out, bring it down, bring it down, and then back the throttle. And you'll feel those electric motors uh, pulling you out of the corner. Next corner is a double apex right. Uh, There'll be a really tall cone on the outside of the turn. You're going to want to aim towards that, come across the track, braking to that outside cone, and then turn in very slowly, bringing it down, 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 back to throttle. Bring it down. Classic left, right. Much like turn one, it's a very late apex onto a straightaway here. Bring it down and then on the throttle. Wow, like really fast to 100 miles an hour. Like yeah, it's, it's really. pretty quick to get there. Between the between the whole powertrain there, it's able to accelerate quite quickly. Stay wide like you are, and then start to bring it down, 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 perfect, perfect. Stay up, bring it down, and then back onto the front straight.
up a bit by the car in front of you, but what you'll notice is that when you apply throttle, there'll be a kick down switch at the bottom. If you get all the way into that kick down switch, it's gonna release all the electrical energy. Okay. So you're gonna feel a surge, I believe. Late apex, bring it down. Throttle. Feel it just rip out of the corner. Yeah, the handling is fantastic. I mean, like very precise. Yeah, that's the torque vectoring helping you hold your line perfectly out of the corner. This is the double apex to the right again. Out to that cone, and then slowly bringing it down. A little bit early on that one. There we go. Uh, this guy's holding you up. You might maybe yeah. back off a little bit so you can get it. You're obviously driving faster than he is. Feel that surge. Amazing. Bring it, bring it down. Throttle. from the original one that is sitting out there from 1991, huh? <laughs> uh, actual performance is significantly up, of course. Yeah, yeah. I think conceptually they're both easy to drive yeah, cars time, yeah. and are very rewarding cars to drive. 
but yeah, uh, obviously uh, technology and performance have pretty drastically improved since the days of that car. Well, I think we're gonna have a chance to do to do a little loop with that one. We really a good experience. To yeah, do I think it'd be good to compare the two. Yeah. <coughs> well, thank you very much for your time and oh. uh, for the opportunity to drive this uh, the great car Enough. here in the Thermal Club. Thank you for coming and uh, enjoying it. We, we that's what we want. Thank <laughs> you.